Hi, this is Mike from Prodigy, and in this video we're going to have a look at how homeschooling families can get started with Prodigy. For those that choose to homeschool their children, even though their students may not be using Prodigy in a classroom environment, they can still take advantage of Prodigy's powerful curriculum-aligned features and access all the tools and reports a classroom teacher would use. The first step for a parent would be to create a free account at ProdigyGame.com, and because the parent will be acting as a teacher, will be creating a free teacher account, follow the initial steps to create your account. Choose your location and then select the available curriculum you'd like to use from the drop-down menu. When it asks you to enter your school information, be sure to select Don't Have a School to set No School and then click the blue button to continue. Because we're using a teacher account, we'll be creating a classroom for children who will be your students. You can name the classroom and select the grade level as a label. This will not set the grade level for the students in the class, it's just a way of identifying each class. If you have more than one child that will be using the program and they are at a different grade level, that's okay. Students can work at their own levels in Prodigy and you can separate them into different classes if you like. When students first begin playing Prodigy, you don't have to set their grade level. They will undergo something we call a placement test. The test, which is automatic and does not need to be assigned, will serve questions to your children when they play the game and will assess their abilities based on how they answer. You will be able to see the progress of this test in the dashboard of your class and you can see when it is complete. Based on the results of the test, it will automatically place your students at the appropriate grade level starting point based on their abilities. You can override this and set their grade manually later if you like, but in the beginning, it's best to let the test run its course. So let's get your children, otherwise known as your students, linked to your class. If they already have an account username and password, choose that option. It will provide you with a class code that your child would enter after they log into the game that will link their account to your class. If they are brand new to Prodigy and haven't begun playing yet, you would select the bottom option. To create an account from scratch, select I'll create accounts for my students, then enter their names and select create accounts. We'll generate a username and password for your students they can now use to log into the game with at prodigygame.com play. You can print out a copy of their logins here before you continue. Let's take a look at how it would work if your child already has been playing Prodigy and has an existing username and password. They would visit prodigygame.com slash play and log into their account. This is the first screen they would see after logging in. On the left hand side of the page where it says new teacher, they would click update and then enter your class code. This will link their existing account to your class in your teacher account. This only needs to be done one time. They don't need to enter the code again. Heading back to your teacher account, we're going to have a look at your class list by clicking where it says students on the left hand side. You should see your child listed here in the class. If you do not, hit F5 on your keyboard or reload the web page to refresh the list. Let's head back to the dashboard where we can take a look at the placement test report. Once your child begins answering questions in Prodigy, the progress and eventual results of the placement test will show up here. I have two students listed here for example purposes. As you can see, one student hasn't begun the test yet, and the other has completed it and placed in grade 4. Using the arrow keys, you can move through the grade levels of the placement test to see how your child has answered the questions and on what topics they were. You can choose to view a detailed breakdown of the test questions and how your child answered them. Based on the results of this test, your child will be placed at the appropriate grade level starting point. If you find that the questions they are receiving in the program are too easy or too hard, you may need to manually override the test and place them at the correct grade. To do this, click where it says students to go back to your class list, then click edit beside your student's name, then choose the proper grade override option and save your changes. The dashboard of your class contains the main overview of how the students in the class are doing. You can view various widgets that give you brief reports or options. For more detailed reports, you can check out the reports section on the left hand side. The planner on the left hand side allows you to create assignments, topic plans, or test preps for any students in this class. For more on these options, what they are, and how to use them, you can check out our support page by clicking the question mark in the upper right hand corner and selecting support. 
You can also view other videos on these features on our YouTube channel. One last thing I want to show you is how to create a separate class. This would be handy if you have multiple children working at different grade levels. The reason you would want the students working at different grade levels to be in their own class is so that reports and assessment tools are geared towards their specific grade level. If you have two students in the same class at different grades, when you create an assignment, topic plan, or a test prep, they would both receive it even though it may only be designed for one specific grade level. Click where it says Classrooms to get back to the Classrooms view. Then click the big plus sign to create another class. Name your class and label the grade level. We're going to move Ryan into this class, so we'll call it Ryan's class. We now have two classes in our classroom view, as you can see. To move a student from one class to another, go to the original class where they are and click where it says Students to go to the class list. Now check the box beside the name of the student you want to move and select Move Students and select the other class in the drop-down menu. Now each student will be in their own class with their own reports, assignments, plans, and test preps. That should get you started with the basics of using Prodigy in a homeschool environment. Thanks for watching.